So we have a set X containing the points A, B, and C. We have tau. This is a topology on capital X. And we have to answer a few questions. We have to find the closed sets. We have to find the closure of the singleton set A. And is it, and by it I mean the singleton set containing A, is it dense in X? And similar questions for C and D. Let's go ahead and work through it carefully. So solution to A. So to find the closed sets, all we have to do is take the complement of each open set in tau. So let's start with the first one. So x set minus x. That's simply the empty set. That's our first closed set. Then x set minus the empty set. That's simply x. So there's our second closed set. Now we'll go to the next open set. So x set minus a. So this is all of the elements in X except A, so just B and C. So this is the set containing B and C. And then X set minus B. So this is all of the elements in X except B, so it looks like A and C. And last but not least, we have X set minus uh, AB, this guy here. And that's everything in X except A and B, so it's going to be the singleton set containing C. So these guys here, these are the closed sets. These are the closed sets. So to find the closed sets, all you do is just take the complements of the open ones. All right, solution to B. In B, we're asked to find the closure of the singleton set containing A. So this is the intersection of all of the closed sets containing this set. So to do that, to do this, we'll have to find all of the closed sets containing this set. So it looks like X is a closed set, right? It's among the ones that are circled up here and it contains this set. And the other closed set containing this set is this one, right? So this is the other closed set. And the closure is the intersection of these closed sets. So if we intersect these, we end up simply with the set containing A and C. So the closure of the singleton set containing A, it's the intersection of all of the closed sets containing this set. So that turned out to be the set containing A and C. So that is the closure of A. So again, to find the closure, you find all of the closed sets containing your set, and you take the intersection. Let's go ahead and do part C. It looks like we want the closure of the singleton set containing little b. So solution to C. So we have to find, oh, and this is not dense in x, right? Not dense in x. And the reason is, uh, if it were dense, you would have that the closure is equal to x. That's what it means for something to be dense in x. Solution to C, uh, so we have to find the closure of this set here. So again, we're going to look at all of the closed sets containing this set. So x obviously contains that set. Right, this is a subset of, of x. And the other one is this guy right here. So this is a closed set. Right, and B is contained in the set containing B and C. So it's this closed set containing this one. And the closure is the intersection of the closed sets. So if we intersect these, let's see what we get. Well, we just get BC. And so that means in this case, the closure of the singleton set B is equal to the set containing B and C. So we found the closure. And again, this is not equal to X, so it's not dense. So we have that the closure of the singleton set containing B is not equal to X, so not dense. Not dense in X. And the last one is to find the closure, looks like, of this set uh, here. So let's work that out. I want to scroll down too far. Uh, solution to C. So we want the closure of this set here. So we need to write down all of the closed sets containing this set. And by inspection up here, it looks like X is the only one. So this is the only closed set containing this set. So the intersection of this set is just this set, right? There's only one set in the intersection, so the intersection is just x. So if you look at the closure of this, you actually get x. So in this case, we finally do have a dense subset of x. So this here is dense in x. I went through that kind of fast, but 
just to recap really, really quick. To find the closed sets, all you do is you take the complements of the open ones, piece of cake. Uh, to find the closure, like for this guy, all you do is you write down all of the closed sets that you have that actually contain this set. And then you intersect them, and that's called the closure. And I hope that made sense.